children welcome to our english lesson this is another lesson which focuses on unit 9 of your grade 10 textbook today we are going to practice writing let's learn how to write a personal note correctly let's start the lesson children we have done many lessons so far to help you practice writing we have learned writing for formal purposes such as letters descriptions and articles for informal writing we have learned how to write an email for personal purposes if you have missed these lessons subscribe to our channel and watch them today we are going to practice writing another informal text type they are personal notes children a personal note is a short note written to someone We write personal notes to people for different purposes such as to request something from someone, thank somebody, apologize or make excuses. Okay children, let me give you some tips about writing personal notes. Personal notes are different from letters. Let's see how they are different. They usually don't begin with dear but sometimes depending on the situation you can address the receiver using dear it's not wrong they are brief and to the point that means you write only the relevant information in the note next thing you need to keep in mind is that personal notes don't end with closings like yours sincerely or yours faithfully You don't have to be very formal when you write personal notes. As the term personal notes itself implies, you are writing them to people you know very well. As it's informal writing, contracted forms or contractions are used in personal notes. For example, instead of writing I will come, you write I'll come. So instead of I will, you use I'll. Okay children here's how a personal note generally looks like Let's read it Meena thanks for the invitation to your birthday party I'll be there with my parents Don't worry I'll bring the camera Ravina In this note Meena is the receiver In other words this note is written to Meena. Ravina is the person who is sending the note. She is the sender. What is the message conveyed? First Ravina is thanking Meena for the invitation to the her birthday party. Next she informs that she is coming to the party with the parents. Also she is informing that she will bring the camera along with her. I hope you noticed how the contractions are used in this note. You have I'll in two situations and also you have don't. They are all contracted forms. I hope you are ready to write a personal note now. Children, let's write a personal note now. Look at this question which appeared on a test paper. Let's read it together. Nisha I'm not well and won't be able to come to school for a few days. I hope to go on the school trip. Please send me the date and the time of departure, places to be visited and things to be brought. Randi Children, before you write the note, let's try to understand what you have to write. To help that Read the question carefully and find this information first. Pause the video and do it now. Let's check your answers. Who is the sender of the note you are going to write? It should be Nisha as you are writing a response to the note sent to by Randi to Nisha. In other words you have to imagine your Nisha and write So to whom are you addressing the note Yes it should be written to 
Randy, what is the message? You have to convey several things. Randy wants to know the date and time of the trip, places to be visited, and the things to be brought. Hope you have understood the question now. Pause the video and write the note now. Let's check what you have written. You can compare with the note I have written. Let's read it. Randy, glad you are joining us to go on the trip. We are going on the 25th and the bus will leave at 6 a.m. We are planning to visit the Temple of the Tooth, Peradeniya Botanical Gardens and the Museum. You only have to bring your lunch, a bottle of water and a cap. Get well soon. Nisha Here we have added two additional sentences. One is, glad you are joining us to go on the trip. And the other is, get well soon. We have to add these additional sentences because in her note, Randi has said she was not well. We can't ignore that. Hope you could write a response like this one. Okay children, now let's write another note. This is the question which appeared on the 2015 O-Level paper. Let's read it. You received the following note from your friend Mevan. Dear friend, we are moving to a new house. I need you. Please meet me, Mevan. So Mevan's note doesn't tell you anything much. You need to ask some questions. Write your reply. Include the following. Thank him for the note. Ask questions about leaving the old house, the new house. Express willingness to meet, give a date, and you have to use about 40 to 50 words. Here again, like the one we did earlier, you have to write a response to a message sent. So first understand the question like we did earlier and then write your answer. Pause the video and do it. Okay children, let's compare what you have written with this sample answer. Let's read it. Dear Mevan, thank you for your note. It's a surprise to hear that you are moving to a new house. When are you leaving the old house? Why are you leaving such a nice place? Where is the new house situated? I'd love to come and help you. So let's meet at your old house tomorrow, Sanju. Now the very first sentence in the note is for thanking Mevan. Thank you for your note. Next one is an additional sentence. It's a surprise to hear that you are moving to a new house. Then you have to ask questions about leaving the old house as well as about the new house. There are three questions here. When are you leaving the old house? Why are you leaving such a nice place? Where is the new house situated? Finally, you have to express your willingness to help the friend and give him a date to meet. That's done in these two sentences. I'd love to come and help you and so let's meet at your old house tomorrow. Here instead of Sanju, you can write any name as a name is not given in the question. Hope you also could write a note like this one. Okay children, this is your last activity in this lesson. This time let's attempt the question on 2018 all level paper. This is the question. You can pause the video and do it. Let's check your answer now. Let's read the question first. You are interested in joining an English camp with your best friend after the examination. 
you went to his her place to talk about it but your friend was not at home write a note to be left in his or her letter box telling him or her about it use about 40 to 50 words include when you came why you came ask him or her to call first you have to identify what you need to convey in the note you have to say when and why you came to your friend's place also you have to mention that the friend was not there finally you have to ask the friend to call you let's read a sample note which includes all this dear nadisha I heard there is an English camp in our school after the examination. I am interested in taking part in it with you. I came to your house last evening but you were not at home. Can you please call me and confirm it? Sanudhi I hope you also could write like this. We have come to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we learned how to write a personal note correctly. If you need more practice on writing personal notes, you can do activity 7 on page 96 of your textbook. There you have to read an announcement and then write a note to one of your friends informing him or her about a competition mentioned in the announcement. That won't be difficult as you have written three notes in this lesson. Let's wind up the lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.